Hey everyone, this is Rene with Neptune Cigars. We're here with Nicholas Fusco, CEO of El Mago Cigars. Ple Nick, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Ple pleasure to be here, thank you for having me. So, if anyone has visited our stores or gone online lately in the cigar world, you may have seen Nick's products. This is from El Mago Cigar Company, and they have a very good way of jumping off the shelf. Uh, they have an excellent presentation, very eye-catching, and there's actually a story behind all of this as to why they look the way they do and are called what they are called. So Nick, without any further ado, can you please elaborate on your brand and uh, let a lot of people that don't know about it yet discover it? Sure. So I started my brand when I was 22 years old and uh, I made it in honor of my grandparents. Um, unfortunately, there was a, it, I made it in response to a tragic event. My grandparents unfortunately passed away in the Champlain Towers collapse, um, the building that suddenly came down in the middle of the night. Um, and you know that's that's what brought El Mago to life, and so I named the brand El Mago, choosing the first two letters of their names. Mm -hmm. So M A for Maria, G O for Gonzalo, and I chose cigars because my grandfather, my abuelo, was from Cuba, and he introduced me to cigars when I was 16 years old. Oh wow! And Early. I smoked. <laughs> I actually, he had a drawer in his apartment, and he got first ever box of cigars for me when I was 16 for my birthday, mm -hmm. and I smoked with him for the first time ever on the balcony. That's awesome. And so, and so that's why I came out with cigars. The rest is history. Yep, yeah. yep. And so we have six lines currently, and the first line that I released is the Art Deco edition. Um, the colors are inspired by the hotel that he bought mm -hmm. in 1989 called the James Hotel. Um, and the blend is an Ecuadorian Habano medium. Um, yeah, the color scheme is very Vice City, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's cool. It's very fitting for the city. Yeah. <clears throat> and so you were mentioning the Art Deco. Uh, I smoked, right now I'm smoking the Maduro, as, as you are too. The, the standard Art Deco, though, in my opinion, has a very, like, almost, dare I say, Cuban-esque type of profile. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely by design, right? Um, I mean, considering he's from Cuba and you were smoking with him since age 16. Absolutely, yeah. I, I, I created this blend thinking of my grandfather, and that's, he, he smoked a lot of Cubans and he... You know, he knew people mm -hmm. that, that, that went there and back, and he got a lot of Cuban cigars. And so this blend was the first one by design, mm -hmm. and the blend itself, the, the flavor profile, I had him in mind 100%. Yeah. And so that's why we came out with that. Where, and, and where is your tobacco from? Um, our tobacco in, in this cigar is from Ecuador mm -hmm. and Nicaragua. Okay. And uh, all Cuban seed, um, and then... Uh, the factory is in Esteli, Nicaragua. That's where we roll the cigars and gotcha. we import them here to Miami. Mm -hmm. And this is where we fulfill orders. Yeah. Yeah. And El Mago was founded when exactly? The El company. Mago was founded in September of 2021. Wow. That's when I, that's when I first, uh, I guess, well, I can't even take credit that it was my idea to start the company. It was actually my mom's idea. Mm -hmm. And here's why. After my grandparents passed away, I gifted her what I call a glorified arts and crafts project. So it was a box of 10 cigars with their picture on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, I wanted to give her something to, to remember them, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she loved it so much, she broke down in tears and crying. And she, she told me, she goes, this is very beautiful. I want you to turn this into a brand and share, share their story with everyone. And so once my mom told me that, mm -hmm. that, that, was, that was it, you know, I was, I was all in. So. September of 2021 is when is when we you know when I created the brand, and then um, I guess when we really launched it when we really kicked it off, it was about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, as far as like sales goes and, mm -hmm. and, and you know getting the product out. So. And in a year so, and a half's time, you've really you've managed to release six different lines, right? Yes. Different blends. Yes, and um, two more are on the way. Wow. Man, you don't take a break, do you? <laughs> That's good, though. Hey, at your age, too, you got to be doing that. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's good. So after the Art Deco, you had the Maduro, which we're smoking, correct? Correct, yeah. Well, and, and the shade, the Connecticut. Yes, mm -hmm. so yeah, I came out with the Miami Art Deco edition first, and then immediately after, came out with the Miami Maduro and the Triunfante, which is our, which is our Connecticut blend. Um, mm. I wanted, you know, I wanted... Uh, a little bit of a little bit of everything right so because you have your you know you have your smokers that want something mild mm -hmm. and you have your smokers that want something consistently medium and then you want smokers that want something a little more full body right so that's why i decided you know the connecticut habana maduro 
And we were talking a little bit before we started about this cigar, how it's, it's a Maduro, you have the rich Maduro taste, but it's not a powerhouse. You know, mm -hmm. it's not made to be knocking you on your feet. Like, it, it's definitely a smooth Maduro in every sense of the word, and I think it's great. Thank you, thank yeah. you so much. And that's, that is also a, a tribute to my grandfather, mm -hmm. because he, he, wasn't, he wasn't someone that wanted something overpowering. Mm -hmm. And so, while, while as, a, as, a, as the owner of a, of a cigar company, I recognize, yes, there, there's people who want that. And um, I do plan on making that in the yeah. future because I would love for everyone to, to enjoy my cigars. Mm -hmm. But um, these blends so far were created with, with him in mind and, and he, you know, the, the, the flavor profile matches what, what he liked and what we smoked together. Nice, yeah. nice homage. Yeah. And then following, <clears throat> following those, we had the Mystic, or the Mystico and the Pepe, mm -hmm. right? Were these were released almost at the same time or, or which one was first? Yes, so yeah. so yeah, it was these three first and then the, the Mystico and the Pepe, I released them at the same time. Um, the, the Mystico is a Cameroon 5x50 box press Robusto. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, you know, I, I came, I get a lot of samples in, right? We get a lot of samples in from the factory to try and smoke. Mm -hmm. And we got, a, we got a mold for a box press Robusto and I just loved the way it smoked. Yeah. And it just, it, it, was a, it was a size that I, you know, I just fell in love with it. And mm -hmm. so came out with that and I always wanted to do a Cameroon because I'm, I'm a fan of the Cameroon I myself. I Cameroon, yeah. Um, and to me, that, that cigar is a, is a flavor bomb. I get three flavor changes while I'm smoking it and mm -hmm. I just really enjoy it. Um, and then the Pepe is, that one's, that one's very near and dear to my heart. And um, for that reason, I put so much effort into the packaging presentation and the blend. And um, the reason why is because it's called the Pepe, which is what I called my abuelo. I called him Pepe. Mm. And so that one's, that one's named after him. Um, it's a little, has a little more body to it, um, but still no, not an overwhelming amount of spice or pepper. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very creamy, enjoyable cigar with a great draw. Um, and that comes, yeah, that's, the, that's our box of 12 and, and the, and, the tubes, I wanted to change it up and make them square for this one. Yeah. Because my abuelo loved tubes. Like, even, even now, still in the hotel, uh -huh. he probably has, probably has over 200 tubes, over 200 cigar tubes that he's collected over the years. They're on display? They're, they're, not, they're not on display. He had, so he had, he had the front desk area, right, mm -hmm. where, he would, where he would stay. And in the back, he had all of his smoking accessories and cigars that he kept and so they're all just Collection there in the back of tubes yes <laughs> the same way he left them wow same way he left them so that's why that's also why i decided to come out with with tubes yeah you know, in most of my uh -huh. cigars because he, he loved them no and i happen to think it's a great uh feature of your line of your company in general is, is the presentation because you know it's one thing some some people may uh, try to get away with just presentation and then the cigar is kind of okay you know but you do both you do a great presentation you do a great product and then now we can talk about the newest of all yours, which is El Cubano, front and center here on the table. Yep. This was just released, uh, I think we've only had it for a couple of weeks now. What can you tell us about this one? So the El Cubano, um, I came up with it um, with my, uh, call him my business partner, but really he's my partner in the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Miguel Pinto. And we, we, you know, we both have share in the factory in, in Nicaragua. And he's kind of... Uh, He's like uh, definitely my mentor. Mm -hmm. He's um, he's a lot. He's twice as old as me, but I call him my younger brother because he's young. He's, he's young in spirit, mm -hmm. and we came up with this um, because we wanted to honor several things. I wanted to honor my abuelo, right, who's Cuban, mm -hmm. and that's why I thought of El Cubano, and also we wanted to you know pay homage to. The, the history of cigar making, right? Mm -hmm. And also, I'm born and raised in Miami, so I wanted to kind of, that's kind of, it's kind of like a shout out to, to, to Miami and, yeah. the, and Miami culture and all that. So I just felt like those three things were, you know, harmonious to create a blend like this with the, with the presentation and packaging like this. And, and um, it's been, it's been, it's done well. It's done well. I'll yeah. Say that. It's, done, it's done well, you know, here in Miami and, and, and also out of state, you know, people, um, people all around the world uh, really respect the um, Cuban culture and, and the history of, of cigar making because it's just it's a very 
it's a very upstanding industry. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, so it's so it's been good. You may as well have just put 305 somewhere on it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's our area code for those out of staters. Yeah. Um, and then you were mentioning also that. Well, actually, what, back to El Cubano. What can you tell us about the components of this cigar? Like, what does it consist of? So it's a um, Connecticut Connecticut wrapper, and we we put a we put a pigtail on the end, mm. and uh, Nicaragua binder filler. And this cigar is very, very, to me, it's the most Cuban-esque cigar, and rightfully so, Yeah, um, mm, makes sense. That, that we have. It's very um, creamy, earthy, um, mild spice, and it's, it's just, it's a cigar that you could enjoy all, pretty much the same way that you could enjoy a Cuban cigar, and, you know, even, even nowadays with um, some of their... Um, what do you call it? Uh, quality quality control sure. situations going, yeah, going uh -huh. on. To put it lightly, um, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it, it it could be looked at as even more enjoyable. Right. And and that's yeah. that's with that's with many cigars as well. You know, um, but but yeah, this is this is a this is a truly enjoyable cigar um, for me. It's a fantastic morning cigar with mm. your cafe con leche. With yeah, your, cafecito. Yeah. Oh yeah, cafecito. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's so new. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But I'm, I'm going to probably try it today uh, after lunch, too. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> It'll be the good topper off to this. This Again, this one's amazing. I, first time trying the Maduro, too. And guys, you got to try it. It's it's a great, smooth Maduro, medium full. Um, so the Pepe so far is probably your strongest offering, right, as far as strength? Correct, yes. And then you mentioned that you have something else coming down the pipeline. Like, What do you think you could tell us about anything in the future, any future projects? Um, well, I could tell you that our next two blends are... Um, well, the, the the very next one coming out is going to be, like I like I mentioned earlier, for for the people who like something with a little more strength. Mm -hmm. um, I still intend to keep the keep the bitterness, keep the spice, keep the pepper in check, mm -hmm. but have it still present at the same time. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be uh, what's coming out next, and that will also be featured in uh, Square Tube, just like the Pepe. Oh, yeah. It'll be a different, okay. a different Vitola, but mm -hmm. um, similar presentation. And then after that, um, I'll be doing a Lancero. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be doing a Lancero. New blend as well, or is it like an existing blend? New blend as well. Wow. New blend as well, yep. And in a, in a tube? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll, yeah. That might be the first time I see a Lancero in a tube. I mean, That's, that, I can't know, think of any right now. But I, I, I was, I was trying to think of you know if anyone had done that before, and I don't. Because Lanceros, don't think so either. Lanceros in general are kind of like making a comeback in my eyes. You know. Yeah, they're they're very enjoyable, and the thing is, is that um, I know there's a big debate on you know what what part of the cigar wrapper binder filler has the most flavor yeah. and is responsible for the you know, the majority of the, the taste, taste of the cigar. Yeah. And out of all the, I guess we would call them cigar experts I've spoken to who have been in the industry for 30 plus years, 40 plus years, uh, the consensus from their part the is wrapper. that it's the wrapper. Yeah. And so when you have a Lancero, it's mostly wrapper. You have a lot less filler. Mm -hmm. So it's just very rich and flavorful. Yeah. And I fell in love with the Lancero the first time I smoked it. Mm -hmm. um, and so... So yeah, I'm excited for that one. That's. Do you, can you tell us when we can expect it to hit the shelves? Uh, about two and a half, two and a half, three months. Okay. Yeah. So it's right around the corner. It'll be this year. Yep, it'll be this Excellent. year. Awesome, yep. awesome. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe in time for, uh, for you know, Christmas time and, hol and holiday yeah, season. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Or even after Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. So I think that just about does it. Uh, any last final words for our Neptune customers watching today? Um, for any of you who haven't heard of our brand, um, I, I encourage you to please, if you do um, decide to give us a try, please do me a favor and scan the QR code that's on the inside of, of our box. It'll tell you in, in full detail and full length the, st the background story of my grandparents and their journey to freedom. Um, and it'll tell you my inspiration for starting the cigar company. Um, and of course, I want you to all please enjoy our cigars and any cigars that you have, um, because at the end of the day, cigars are a great way to have a human interaction, which is, is lacking nowadays. 
Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a great way to create fantastic memories with new people or old friends, family, you know, everybody. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. about it. Yeah. Nicholas, thank you so much thank you. for taking the Appreci time. I appreciate it. Guys, I co-sign on that. Please scan the QR code. The story is amazing. It's very touching. Um, you know, it's, it's almost bittersweet, dare I say, but it's amazing. There's no other brand like this right now on the market, and I encourage you to give it a try as soon as you possibly can. Be on the lookout for those coming products, uh, hopefully by Christmas time, maybe Thanksgiving time. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out El Mago. This is Renee and Nicholas, Neptune Cigars. Have a great one.